In today's video, we have a 40 inch LCD Dynex that when it is turned on, you will just see a brief flash image of the please wait and then it goes away. But when we do the flashlight check, I'll see if I can get this on camera here. After a few seconds, there will be a no signal message. I'll see if I can capture it here. There it is. Uh, uh, I might not be able to pick it up on camera, but it, you can see it says no signal back there. So we know we have just a backlight issue going on with this set. So let's tear into it. Okay, so I got the back of it peeled off now. And my first thought was, ah oh, crap, it's going to need CCFL bulbs or I'm going to have to LED convert it. Uh, both of those are a chore. I don't look forward to doing either one of those. But I did some quick Googling before I uh, got started. And on a website called badcaps.net, which is a great resource for fixing TVs and other electronics, there was a post of other people having the same model with similar problems. And what people are coming up with was bad transformers. And sure enough, my transformer looks just like the other ones posted. And you can see, so I can zoom in and get a focus here, the secondary coil on this transformer focus as some um, poof magic smoke in that little section right right in sorry for the uh, motion right in here this first coil here has some uh, funny business going on and that would make perfect sense for the backlight shutting off uh, let's take a closer look here's the inverter board pulled out of the TV and this is the bad transformer and the interesting thing is I was expecting it to be burned open it's actually the opposite the uh, coating on the wire had melted and it shorted out a section um, so the good side the good secondary side measures about 594 ohms where the bad side measures about 560 ohms and that makes sense because there's about 10 sections to each secondary coil so each section adds about 60 ohms of resistance, and since this section is shorted, it's about 60 ohms less. So that is what the transformer looks like under a microscope. Now if you dig deep in Google, you can find websites that claim to have replacement transformers. But I ended up just finding a whole replacement board on eBay for a reasonable price. So I'm going to go ahead, put it in, and see if this fixes the TV set. New inverter board installed. And TV's back to normal. This turned out to be a pretty, pretty easy, straightforward fix. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.